Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new horror film set in the superhero genre, The New Mutants. The New Mutants is a new movie based on the Marvel Comics team in the same name, and it was directed by Josh Boone and stars Maisie Williams, Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Heaton, Alice Braga, Blue Hunt, and Henry Zaga. In the film, a group of young mutants held in a secret facility fight to save themselves. Oh my god, this movie actually exists. I actually sat in a theater, I bought my popcorn, I bought a drink, and I watched this movie with a group of people, all socially distanced of course, because my con cinema does not mess around with that, and it was a phenomenal experience. This movie is finally out, and I feel like that's a bigger story than the movie itself because this movie went into production in 2017, had an original release date of April of 2018, and five release dates later, it finally comes out in late August of 2020. No thanks to COVID-19, no thanks to production delays, no thanks to the Disney-Fox merger, which basically had this movie placed on the back burner. So I finally saw New Mutants, and what did I think of it? Let's get into it. Separating myself from all the other backstory and all the other drama surrounding this movie, this movie was a little bit better than I expected. When you think of all those different delays and all those different problems they were having, I thought this movie was going to be a dumpster fire, to be completely honest, but it ended up being a nice nice watch, a nice overall well-constructed movie. Maybe it was a little subpar, maybe a little bit average, but overall it was better than I expected. The standouts of this movie are Maisie Williams, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Charlie Heaton, all of which have a great amount of credits to their name, and they're all standouts in this movie. Sure, Charlie Heaton and Maisie Williams have, their accents are a little bit dodgy. Sometimes they sound like themselves, sometimes they sound like a Scottish person, sometimes they sound like a, like a country person from Kentucky. But overall, they give good performances, and they were pretty convincing, and it's kind of odd to see them so young in this, because this was over three years ago that this movie was shot, and you've seen them in subsequent seasons of Game of Thrones and um, Stranger Things, and Anya Taylor-Joy has been in a bunch of movies like Split and Glass. So to see them young again was a little bit off-putting because you're like, okay, this movie definitely was delayed. New Mutants really does not feel like a superhero movie in its purest sense. There isn't a villain on screen most of the time, and it's pretty much these five characters locked in one hospital. And they are struggling to deal with their own personal struggles and maybe some dodgy surrounding effects. But the overall, it's kind of a nice, smaller scale superhero movie in a world of Avengers Endgames and Justice Leagues. It's nice to see a smaller story like this play out with a little bit more personal drama and character development. And it was a pleasure to watch. But going into this movie, something I was looking forward to the most was the fact that it was being marketed as a horror movie. One of the first in the superhero genre, but... It doesn't fully commit to it, and that was a little bit disappointing because the early trailers were pretty much straight up horror, straight up scary imagery, straight up twisted body horror kind of stuff. But uh, upon the later trailers, there were some one-liners thrown in there, kind of some tags, and that was disappointing because they are in the movie. There are some great horror elements, which are going to scare some kids that are going to go to this movie, but the horror elements are still really gripping. There's a scene in particular in a church with Maisie Williams' character, Rain, who turns into a wolf. And I love seeing that because I was like, oh my gosh, Game of Thrones boner. But it does not fully commit. And I really wish it would have because that would make this movie stand out even more from the pack than it already does. But overall, it was a pretty solid plot. I think the ending was a little bit lackluster, but that seems to be something that the superhero movies struggle with in general, besides the big team-up movies. But there was some nice character development along the way. There's a nice relationship between Blue Hunt and Maisie Williams' character. That was unique. I will, that's all I'll say about it. You'll see what I mean when you see it on the screen. But I like seeing it. It was a nice inclusion in the film. and gave a nice personal core to the film, which otherwise would have been lost in a lot of lesser superhero movies. Oftentimes, the strength and the vibrancy and the success of a movie is placed on the lead character's shoulders and the lead actor's shoulders. And unfortunately, the, the New Mutants, it does not do well with its lead actor, Blue Hunt. I'm sorry, I'm sure you're a great person, I'm sure you're a very hardworking actor, but she was the weakest part in this movie, and the story kind of all falls on her. And I think the marketing department knew that, because in the trailer she's not as present as the other characters, and even on the main poster, Maisie Williams' character is in the forefront, and Blue Hunt is supposed to be the main focus of the movie, so I think they knew what they had on their hands, because the supporting cast is just so strong that it's hard for her to stand out, but she had some pretty cringe-worthy dialogue along the way. I was cringing a few times, and only at her stuff her character was saying, nobody else made me cringe, no one else made me question their line delivery or their line choices, 
Blue Hunt's character is the only one who did. And it was forgivable. It was forgivable. She did have some good lines too. It wasn't all bad. It wasn't a horrible performance. It just wasn't on par with the rest of her castmates. The overall message of this movie is confront your fears, be who you are, and don't be afraid of your differences. And that's a great message and one that we really need in this time. But it was a bit heavy handed. Instead of being a nice sweet taste, it pretty much was like you're eating straight cake, straight cake frosting the whole time. So it went down super sweet and they kind of over explain it to the audience as well. I mean, the opening, the ending has a nice voiceover, which pretty much throws it right in your face and the ending conflict kind of throws it right in your face. So I, I would have got it. It's not that hard to get that message from it. So don't spoon feed me. Don't spoon feed me that frosting. I don't need it. I've already been eating it the entire film. I, it was a nice message. Just be a little bit more subtle. Subtlety is the key here. It's hard to pull off. I get it. I understand. Maybe the demographic this movie is marketed towards wouldn't fully understand the message if you didn't spoon feed it to them. I get it. I understand it. But it was a bit much for me. So overall, what do I think of the New Mutants? I enjoyed it. It was a little bit better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a dumpster fire, admittedly, but it ended up being a nice average, maybe slightly above average superhero movie. I'm a little sad that we aren't going to see more from this timeline, most likely, in the X-Men universe, because even the X-Men are referenced in this film, because Disney now owns the rights and they're eventually going to fold the X-Men and all that universe into the MCU. And this isn't connected with the MCU, so even though you see the Marvel logo at the beginning, it says in association with, rather than just Marvel Studios. We're probably going to see recastings of all these characters if we see these specific characters at all again. So that's a little disappointing because there are some connections between movies like Logan and Deadpool and the other X-Men films. I would have liked to see more from this universe, but... If this is the last movie we get from the Fox X-Men universe, I think it was a pretty solid one. My final rating for The New Mutants is a solid 7 out of 10. If it is playing at a cinema near you, definitely check it out. And if it's not, if you're in the New York or LA areas, it will come eventually when theaters reopen. Or you can wait till VOD or you can wait till physical release. But I would recommend The New Mutants if and when you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching PR Media. Thank you so much for the support. Go out and see New Mutants or Bill and Ted Face the Music. A bunch of new releases out in theaters this week. Thank you so much again for watching. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.